What's up, people of YouTube? This is Troll here, bringing you guys another video to my channel today. And today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So I don't do reviews very often on my channel, but I, I tend to do reviews over games that I really enjoy, like I did an Advanced Warfare review, um, I'm, I'm doing an Assassin's Creed Syndicate review, I did a Assassin's Creed 4 review, like, way back when, um, and I felt like it would be right to do a review for Syndicate. So, um, in this video I'm just going to kind of talk about the things that I enjoyed and disliked about Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and I'm not very far into the game, like, I'm, I'm percentage-wise, I'm about... 35% I think or 39% something like that of overall completion within the game but about the actual campaign I think I've played um, probably about half a little less than halfway through the actual campaign so to start this off I want to talk about the actual characters within syndicate so um, the characters Jacob and Evie Fry they're very basic assassins like it's a it's a really cool concept that they're twins and it's also a really really cool concept that we have a female assassin that we can now play as because we haven't really had that before and a lot of people made a big deal about that with unity they wanted a female assassin to play as so now you have that and i think they did a really really good job of showing how jacob is better with the whole brutal hands-on combat aspect of the two twins and evie is more of the stealth twin and it works out really really nice and so I can kind of pick and choose my character when I'm going into things like what you're seeing here on the screen. And I totally missed with those barrels. But like you're seeing on the screen, uh, it's nice to be able to pick and choose in what instances I want to use each character. So that's, that's a really big part of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now instantly right off the bat when you start playing the game you're going to feel this type of attachment to the characters because they have more personality than they did in the previous Assassin's Creed game Unity. Arno didn't have a lot of personality, he was kind of boring, um, he was a good assassin in my opinion, I thought the game was pretty good overall, not as well rounded as it should have been, but after everything was kind of fixed the game was really really good and I felt like Arno was a good assassin to have in the series, I don't think he you know, was by any means a bad uh, a bad installment, if you could put it that way. But Jacob and Evie Fry, they offer, they put more on the table. They bring more to the table. They're more charismatic, and um, they fight and bicker a lot. And it just makes you feel like you're, I don't know, kind of there. Like you just, you get this attachment to them. Like you don't want to see anything bad happen. Whereas I felt like in Unity, I was just kind of waiting for something bad to happen to Arno. Like he just was that kind of person. I don't know how to explain it. But after the characters and things like that, we can kind of move into what there is to do within the game. And I'm about to assassinate this chick. Yep, you can do that. You can uh, assassinate people from the little Batman slidey thing. I, I don't know what that's called. It's a zip line of some sort. Um, and that zip line is pretty useful, but I mean, it's not game changing by any means. I, I don't find myself using it all that often. Um, but it's, it's definitely more beneficial to have than to not have. So the core mechanics of the game are pretty much like Unity, but they are fixed in a lot of ways. So, you know, I'm not just running around having frame rate issues and situations where I should have killed people and I'm not. Uh, I feel like that is pretty much gone. There's still a few minor bugs here and there that I've noticed, like um, just things that aren't going as smooth as they probably should be, but nothing that's gonna change my overall opinion of the game. Um, purely aesthetic. Things you know, the graphics in the game look phenomenal. I think that they're they're great. Um, one complaint that I do have about the game is I feel like they didn't make it very clear and obvious as to where you were supposed to start and stop campaign missions. So uh, I spent the first like to, in order to rank up within this game to to level up, you have to spend so many skill points and you have to buy new skills and you have to spend so many of those points. So you don't want to hoard them when you start playing. And I spent level two to three just trying to XP farm as much as possible until it let me play the next campaign mission. But the whole time I could just go to my little area on the map that it didn't show very clearly or point out and just start playing it. And then later on I had more issues with the same thing where I couldn't figure out where I needed to be in order to do what I needed to do for the campaign. So, I mean, that's the only really uh, big complaint that I have is it just took me a while to figure that out. And sometimes even now it's still kind of confusing to find out when I can start the next part of my uh, my campaign missions. So, other than that, I think the game is is really really fun. It has a lot of cool things to offer. Like that kill that I just got there was absolutely sick. By the way, in this video, I'm a level six and I'm fighting in a level eight 
Templar camp thing, and I, this is the only reason I fought in this one was because I couldn't find any other one. So this guy that I'm fighting right now essentially almost kills me like twice in a row, and I have to use my medicine. Fighting against people that are much higher levels than you in this game is no joke. You don't really screw around with that. I tried doing it all stealth-like, but it just didn't work out too well. But yeah, overall things to do within the game is pretty good. Um, a good variety uh, of things to do, like liberating the child outposts, uh, bounty hunts, finding uh, certain Templars and assassinating them, just completely killing all the Templars in a specific camp like the one I'm at now. And overall, I think this is one of the better Assassin's Creed games at this point. Uh, it's definitely up there with Black Flag and Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood for me. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the, the video will see going to be the last that I made. Twitter and Facebook links will be down in the description. As always, please remember to like and subscribe, and deuces.